So, Jim, what's going on right now? Looks like we have nine female bull sharks swimming around with a couple of nurse sharks. We're hoping that a hammerhead comes in. Uh, but at the moment, we haven't seen one, which is somewhat odd. Yeah, it's strange because we've been here for the last couple of days, and every day the hammerheads have been showing up. Well, it's just such a pleasure to have sharks while we're diving. I mean, lots of places in the world, sadly, don't have any more sharks left. Recording. Like recording. My name is Lee Bledsoe, and I am the virtual reality specialist at GoPro. On this Swimming with Sharks expedition, our VR team was tasked to capture sharks in their natural environment. Our goal was to show that these so-called man-eaters are not what the media makes them out to be. So here we are, beautiful Bahamas in, in the island of Bimini. You can see we're a long distance offshore, quarter mile, uh, where we can obviously do all the things that we intend to do. Uh, no, no shark harassment, don't hold, restrain, hug, kiss, uh, ride any shark, please. So let's just let the shark go wherever it wants to go and uh, have a wonderful dive. Sound good? Sounds, Sounds awesome. Good. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, let's go do it. The Abyss is an underwater camera housing for spherical cameras made by our partner company, Color. This is the only camera in the world like this because we placed our sync technology inside of it. This allows us to get perfect sync between all of the cameras. Another unique aspect of the Abyss are the large dome ports. The reason they're so big is because they allow a really big pocket of air in front of the camera. And that pocket of air allows us to transition seamlessly between above water shooting conditions and underwater shooting conditions without encountering any distortion of the image. I recently became scuba certified two months prior to this trip. Gotta wait for him, right? I gotta wait for him, right? On our first dive on this trip was only my sixth dive ever. I haven't gone down before. As I walked up towards the back half of the platform, I had a lot of emotions and thoughts racing through my head. Lay out this one. As soon as I stepped into the water though, my mind settled down and I went into, all right, this is work mode, and then it sort of went into a meditative state. Everything that Jim was saying was true. They're not born to eat people. Yes, there are these really big sharks all around me, but never once did I feel like I was in any sort of danger. I mean, it was surreal to be down there and be able to reach out and actually pet a shark and still have all of my fingers. I really want to show people that human beings can interact with sharks in a super safe way, which then, you know, hopefully when they see that, they're like, oh, well, it isn't Jaws. What I loved about the VR is it will give people the ability to experience what it's like to be in the water and watch these animals as they just kind of cruise around, really gentle, really slow, and it's actually almost beautiful. It's not, I wouldn't even call it an adrenaline thing. It's more of just a beautiful thing. The goal through this and wanting to create this experience was that as soon as you put on the headset, you're instantly immersed in another world. This world that we're immersing you in just happens to be an underwater world full of sharks and, and, and people. Virtual reality, without a doubt, has the distinct capacity to show people what it's really like to be underwater with large predatory sharks, to show the true nature in a way that may even be better than being there at that time. And being able to experience sharks in this way, maybe we're able to change the minds about these creatures and maybe they're not as ferocious and man-eating as we've been led to believe. It's imperative that we all join forces and try to protect our ocean's animals, especially the apex predator that's in control of maintaining the health of our oceans. Virtual reality has the distinct ability to do that without ever taking them to the ocean.